Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here in today's video. We're gonna go over Hack the Box Starting Point Machine um, Explosion. The name is Explosion. It is a Windows box and it's pretty easy to be honest. It really is centered around weak credentials and some enumeration, which we'll get into. So let's get into it and let's not waste any more time. I'm doing a whole series on all of the starting point machines. So if you're new to ethical hacking or pen testing, definitely subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when a new video comes out because I'm filming them literally all the time. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so here we are inside of Hack the Box. Now let's go ahead and copy that IP. I literally just spun up this a second ago. So let's switch over to our Pwnbox instance. Let's run our normal scan. I'm gonna do nmap-v dash sc for scripts dash n to disable dns resolution just as a habit and then i'll paste in that ip and let's run that scan all right so it's going to still run the scripts we can see nse so that's the dash sc so it's going to go through those scripts but in our case we can start so we have smb enabled port 445 that's almost always going to be my first thing i'm going to check i'm going to try to enumerate smb a little further uh let's scroll back up there uh, we also have RDP open, uh, we have RPC open. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go down this list. So let's start with SMB. So to enumerate SMB, or rather to just list the shares available if we have anonymous access, uh, I'm gonna start with SMB client dash L, and then I'll specify the IP of that system and we'll hit enter. And it's going to ask us for a password. I'm assuming it has anonymous access enabled, so I'm just going to hit enter. Um, okay, so it did work, but it appears there's just the default shares here. So nothing terribly interesting. Um, we also saw if we go back up, we had RDP enabled right here. So let's go ahead and try to log in with the administrator account. Um, to do that on Linux, we can use a tool called Remina. So if you just type that in, there is a one-liner we could do with it. In my case, I'm just going to hit enter. That'll pop up this GUI, which again, we don't need to use. But in our case, we'll go ahead and use this. Um, from there, we need the IP. And since I have a horrible memory, let's go back up here. It is 10.129.241.202. So we'll do that. We'll hit enter. From there, it's going to ask us for our credentials. Now, it's a Windows system, so it has an administrator account. So let's do administrator with a capital A. For password, um, we can try a whole bunch of passwords, right? So I'll try, uh, I don't know. Um, let's just try password. Okay, that didn't work. Um, let's try capital P password. Nothing. Okay, let's just try a blank password. That looks promising. And we're in. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's close this out so we can get our so get us some space here. All right, so this looks good. We see there's a flag on the desktop. We open it up. We do indeed have the flag for this box. Now I gotta I gotta be honest with you guys. This isn't my favorite box after going through it. Obviously, I've done it in the past, but um, I mean it. it basically is a good reminder to always check the basics, right? Like we went through a couple of very simple password iterations. Don't ever take that for granted. Always check those simple passwords because you never know. Um, the other thing it taught us is how to RDP from Linux into a Windows box using Remina. And then I guess to add to that, the enumeration of SMB, even though we didn't find anything significant there, it's a good habit to develop and to remember to always check that. So that said, I hope you found this useful. If you did, definitely subscribe. Like I said, I'm doing a bunch of these. I've been doing YouTube now for, gosh, I think two and a half years. So I'm not stopping. In fact, I'm I've, well, I'm almost done. Pretty much redone my studio, as you can probably tell. And so I'm really excited about where things are going. We're gonna have a ton more ethical hacking, pen testing, all of that kind of stuff coming out. So if you like that kind of content, definitely subscribe and hang around because it's gonna be an awesome ride. And I hope more importantly, that I can help you guys learn some new stuff. That's what. That's why I do this, to be honest with you. All right, so that's enough talking. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time. Oh, and stay nerdy.